welcome back my peeps got another snack cake for you yes i do and i think i'm winding down snack cakes <laughs> but this one was just too easy to not do so here you go we're gonna make ding dongs you see that see that shiny coating like a ding dong Yes, we're going to make some ding-dongs. And um, all you need is this. I'm going I'm to flip the camera so you can see what I'm going to be doing, okay? So, all you need is these little round circles. These are two inches. And you can buy them on Amazon. Um, someone sent these to me in Happy Mail, Friend Mail. And I was so excited. When I saw them, I was like... Got to make some with these, but at that time, I didn't realize I was going to be making these because I couldn't think of what I was going to make because I was just thinking about mini cakes and stuff like that. But then when I got on this snack cake, cake, I couldn't help myself. Like, I'm like, we need to make some um, ding-dongs. So this is the easiest and the fastest one because you don't have to do much to it, but paint it. So you're gonna paint it. I painted this burnt umber. Painted it. I use burnt umber to paint it, right? And this is what it looked like once I painted it. Okay. Then I got some. Again, I use cork, model magic, and um, cork, model magic, and paint to. To make this icing now you I mean I like you don't have to do this but I think I'm not gonna say that because it wouldn't look a hundred percent like a ding-dong because I put this on here you see the difference Can you see the difference like you can really still see a lot of the holes on this one that doesn't have the icing the fake icing on it so I kind of wanted it to look like a more like a ding dong. So I kind of still put the the um the fake icing on it just to give it that you know like how ding dongs look with it. They got a thin coating of icing, and that's how I wanted it to look. I like I wanted to look like real. So you're just gonna take some of that. You mix this cork and paint your burnt umber. You mix that in there. It's, this is like the easiest snack cake I made. Because all you're going to do is this. And then once this dries, you're going to put a coat of glossy Mod Podge. You need to have, it has to be glossy. I tried it with the, um, like the satin one. And, and it just didn't give it that shine. You know, that little bit of shine that uh, Ding Dongs have. Because they... They coat it with the chocolate. Ugh. The only thing I hate when the stick moves. I'm over here trying to do something. And then you're going to let this dry. Right? And then once you, 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 once you, you dry, no. Once it dries, you know, if you have any excess, just take it off. You don't really want to see any streaks on it or anything like that. So you could just take the excess paint off if you want. And you're going to let this dry 100% before you move on to the next step, which is put the gloss on. I'm going to put this in my phone. So once you dry it, once it's dry and you cover it with your uh, glossy mod part, this is what you're going to get. You see how much of a difference it has? This is just covered with the fake icing. It doesn't have any gloss on it. But it does make a difference, okay? So I suggest you use some... I suggest you use the uh, Glossy Mod Podge. So, like to get the... the I cut it in half because when I went online... I didn't see it with a bite taken out. I seen it sliced like this, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just leave it the way it is. And so all you do, 
I'm going to cut this one. All you do is get your blade. I got my, my ruler here. And you're just going to cut off a piece. Now remember, make sure your blade is reach, reaching out long enough so it won't make a lot of foam and it gives you that clean cut. Even though it's going to happen because it's foam. You know what I mean? It's just, that's what it is. It is what it is. So then, you know, just take off your little bit of hangover. And you're going to get this nice cut. And y'all, I don't know if you've seen it yet. But look at my, y'all know how much I hate this stuff. But listen here. Look at this, what I found. I got me a crafting desk vacuum. And this little thing is powerful. Okay, it picks up glitter and all of that good stuff. I will leave the link below so you can get you one if you're interested. So, we're just going to cut out a little piece, a little square of the inside of your ding dong. Just, you know, figure out what, how big you want your, your uh, how big, how much icing you want to fill it with. And then you go across. And then I just kind of dig it out with my hand, but I'm going to use this so you guys can see what I'm doing. I kind of just, you know, you don't want to take out too much because you don't want to fill it up too much, you know what I mean? And that's it. And there you go. Now clean it up a little bit, you know, make sure there ain't no leftover, um, oh yeah, listen. this is the best thing I bought myself <laughs> so the ding dong on the inside is just a little the cake on the inside just a little bit lighter than this so what I used on the inside of this is melted chocolate on the outside I use burnt umber but on the inside to paint this I'm going to use melted chocolate okay just get you a little bit of the melted chocolate You don't need that much because there's not a lot of space to, to paint. But you got to be careful that you don't get it up on here, okay? So you're just going to paint. Because we want it to look like a real thing, dog. So we're going to paint the inside a little bit different. A different color. And then we're going to put the filling in. The only thing about this is that you got to make sure your chocolate is dry. I should have put the filling in first and then painted around it. Because you don't want, once you put the filling in there, the chocolate can mix with the filling. And you don't want that. So you just let this dry. If you feel like you need another coat, you put another coat. Right? Then you get your cork. You're going to get your cork and you're just going to fill it in like this. And then you have your mounds, which I'll cut the other one up so I don't have two, but you have your mounds. Why keep your mounds? Well, I got, what in the world am I talking about? That's a whole different, another, that ain't even a cake. That's a candy, bro. Oh, Lord. That's why I tell you, my mind be going places. I said a mound. I don't know why I said a mound, but <laughs> anyway, guys. So you uh you got another cake to add to your collection. You got your ding dongs. Okay, so that was like the easiest, fastest snack cake I made. Because all you did was really paint it, cut it, and fill it with some cream. That is it. So, guys, this is it right here. This is what you got. Your mounds. I didn't put um, the gloss on this one because this is the one I just uh, painted. But, don't those look like real ding-dongs? Yeah. 
Go make you some of these. It's the easiest one you're going to make. The easiest snack cake you're going to make. Okay? So, guys. Until the next video. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Keep crafting. And I will talk to you all very, very soon. God bless you guys. Bye.